Uh, the reason why I picked this up is because it is a part of the Roadrunner pedigree. And uh, the 1897, the year is actually very hard to find toned. Hey guys, just wrapped up day one at um, the pan show. Got a few things to show you this video. I'm gonna set them all aside here and move a few things in, but uh, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, bought a few uh, toners there, uh, insane coins. Uh, bought a few kind of regular just date Morgan dollars. And, uh, bought a, a dimple there, uh, just a harder dimple. If you don't see these every day with the plus. Um, Found a nice better date uh, Morgan there. But a lot of cool stuff to show you uh, in this video. I'm gonna take a little bit of time uh, getting out the light box and then I'm gonna just do a deep dive in all these coins. Uh, I'm glad and fortunate enough for you guys that you enjoyed the last few videos. Um, it's been uh, just a pleasure to make content for you guys. So uh, stay tuned and let's get this video started. Hey guys, this is Drew. I uh, just made it to the light box. want to show you guys uh, the first day uh, at the coin show, uh, all the finds that we had. Um, it's been, it, it, it was a crazy day. Uh, we got uh, we got there early with all the dealers. I actually snuck in before I could, uh, could actually go in. I actually paid for early bird and then uh, ended up buying a few really nice coins um, from a lot of good people. But let's show off this first coin. Uh, this coin is sold to Sergio. If you guys don't know who Sergio is, uh, you'll figure it out one day. But this is an 1883 Morgan Dollar rated MS63 with a CAC sticker. Uh, we're, we've been talking a little bit about Rattlers lately um, and uh, coins with toning in them. And basically what uh, this Morgan Dollar is, is is a very rare specimen just because it's in this Rattler case. Um, as, as most of you know, back then they wouldn't um, many many collectors and dealers wouldn't send these coins in because they would call this uh, quote unquote damage um, and so now that uh, Tony ha has really picked up people are paying uh, an extreme premium uh, for coins like this um, and I ended up paying an extreme premium as well but um, the thing about it is that tone Morgans and rattlers are like hen's teeth um, so if you don't find a buyer today you'll find a buyer uh, tomorrow um, and Sergio is that guy. Uh, Sergio is a, a good client of mine, um, and he ended up uh, taking a liking to this coin, and I don't blame him. You can see this uh, pretty hard, uh, hard to find toning, this blue toning here. Um, you can also see the textile on the coin, and uh, I don't know. I kind of like the red and yellow flare up up by the uh, up by the head as well. But um, just a stunning coin. Uh, let me show you guys a couple more here. So we actually bought a few better dates at the coin show as well. Uh, we have a friend um, that also is a wholesaler. Um, he does a lot of uh, a lot of stuff on uh, eBay, but he likes buying these uh, better dates uh, in, in, that have been circulated. Um, this is an 1883S graded XF45 uh, by NGC. Uh, not the most attractive coin, um, but uh, when, when we find higher, uh, you know, higher graded coins like this one, sometimes they can be very, uh, very expensive. But an XF45 um, is pretty affordable, and um, I've been sent a, a lot of lists lately um, asking for better date coins in circulate in, in circulated grades, and I think this 1883S uh, fits the mold. Um, yeah, it, it's just a nice coin, and there was a very nice lady at the show uh, with her husband. She Honestly, she's going to sell half the coins uh, in the case that her husband brought because she's just an outstanding lady. I, I had to stop by their table a few times and ask her why she was so happy. And and uh, those those type of people make you happy to go to a coin show. Um, they just, no matter what happens to them, they always have a smile on their face. Um, so shout out to that lady. I I wish I remember her name, but I'm, I'm not too good with names. Um, uh, up next, uh, this is an 1883 CC, um, and the cool thing about this coin, which I like a lot, is it's 
a unique grading designation. This is an MS63 Plus deep mirror proof like. Um, and as you can see, the mirrors are just beaming off this coin. Uh, I don't blame them for giving it a mint state 63 plus. Um, I think this coin on the obverse is more of an MS63 um, net. But when you flip over the coin, uh, the the reverse is almost completely perfect. Um, a few little touches in the under the left wing, um, but the coin is deep mirror proof like. Um, I think there's only actually under 20 of these um, at PCGS, and um, sometimes when you have the, that plus uh, addition to a coin in terms of grade, uh, people like that little uh, cherry on top um, for their collection. Um, it's just a it's just a rare population. And I, I like messing with this stuff because it's a pretty coin. Someone's going to uh, pick it up. And, um, you know, it's it's just, I mean, just look at this coin. Just It's just a stunning coin. Uh, I buy that stuff all the time. And I'm very thankful that I do. Um, here are a few circulated dates uh, that we were talking about earlier that we like to buy. 1891P, 1892S. Um, both pretty beat up but both very affordable um, and like we've been talking about in a few videos past and what I've been trying to say to you guys is we film out our videos a little bit further in advance so mainly when we show off these coins they're not going to be available um, but we do have fresh coins being uploaded every single week so make sure make sure to step by uh, stop by the shop uh, I'm skipping on words here um, and see all the new things that we have uploaded because uh, you won't be disappointed uh, a lot of uh, different a variety of stuff and if you guys ever are on the hunt for something please message us um, just so we can find a coin uh, for you in the quickest amount of time I think that's uh, something that we're going to try to do a, a better for uh, in 2022 um, but like I said very nice coins um, and now we're going to jump into some uh, tone tones um, this is an 1897 Morgan dollar graded MS65 by PCGS and you can just see the very uh, beautiful color bands on this coin, the blue, the gold, the red, the, the blue, and the green. And then you can kind of see the terminal dying out on the 97. Uh, the reason why I picked this up is because it is a part of the Roadrunner pedigree. And uh, the 1897, the year is actually very hard to find toned. This coin, uh, what takes away from this coin um, is basically how... Uh, how much they bumped it up because of the color. Uh, PCGS sometimes gives you a bump in grade because of how uh, how the eye appeal um, is on the coin. Uh, this coin is very attractive, uh, but uh, when you actually take a look at the obverse of the coin, it is pretty beat up. And so sometimes that can detract a little bit from uh, the price of the coin. Uh, will this coin cack? Uh, I think the coin didn't cack, and that's what sometimes uh, collectors are looking for. They're looking for coins that have cacked, or have really nice eye appeal, a part of good pedigrees, and has a good date. This coin is one of those exceptions. Um, it's just a stunning example. This is an 1880S MS66 star, graded by NGC. I got this coin because of the grade itself, but also the color um, and the eye appeal to it. I don't. I see many many of these um, with with the star uh, eye appeal designation where toning's on the obverse of the coin, and isn't on the reverse. And when I when I turn the coin over, it also has that stunning rainbow uh, on the reverse, and has amazing luster. And that's something that you should expect every time with the 1881s. Um, or an 1880s Morgan dollar, um, just very nice strikes on these coins, and also coins that have uh, a very beautiful luster. Uh, and the color bands on this coin are, are very attractive. Once again, we're going back to the same exact uh, progression as the other coin, apart from the terminal. So someone's going to enjoy this coin, and I still have to take a look at it and see if it would have a, sh a shot at MS67. Um, so. Uh, stay tuned and something might uh, happen with this coin. It just looks stunning under the light And I, I we've been buying a lot of toners up lately I hope you guys have been enjoying the content and uh, more of an understanding um, for yourselves in terms of how toning works and um, the prices that uh, toning might add to a coin
This was a cool coin that we found uh, at the show. This was an 1884S, uh, AU55 Morgan dollar. Uh, the coin has been circulated. Um, looks like it has a little bit of light cleaning um, from it being old. Um, and it, it's just, it just had its, its day where someone uh, did something to it. And so it does have that cleany feel to it. Uh, this coin was picked up from a very nice dealer. He offered it to us at a great price. Um, he offered this coin, I think, at $475. This coin currently is selling for uh, $725. Um, and I think he knew that uh, partly from the beginning, but uh, he got it for such a great price that he wanted to pass those savings on uh, to his customer. This this coin I uh, I picked up first because I, I've been doing pretty well with 1884S's as of recently. And uh, I like this little toning on the, uh, on the reverse as well. But just a stunning coin. I uh, can't get enough of these really nice key dates. Up next is probably one of my most favorite coins uh, of the trip. This is a, an 1879S Morgan Dollar grade MS66. And as you can already tell, uh, it has very stunning color on the coin. You can see this green and pink um, and gold. And it also has this textile to it. Um, you can kind of see the luster dying out a little bit towards the bottom left of the coin. And right here, as you can kind of see, there's a there's toning missing there. Um, I really enjoy the coin and the luster on it. And you can also see the color coming onto the reverse of the coin, which I really like. Uh, it gives it that little uh, cherry on top, little kick to the coin. Uh, and coins like this don't come cheap. So we've been trying to get into bigger waters uh, with, with toning and uh, fine collectors that really uh, like to uh, spend high dollars on these coins. Um, this coin jumped out to me because of its grade, but also because of its color. Uh, and the 79S um, isn't as common as you know the 1881S or the 80S um, with this color. Uh, it does have a little bit of luster missing, like I said, but nonetheless, it is a stunning example. Last but not least, I want to show you guys this 1886 MS63 dimple. Um, it has a very nice flash to the coin. Uh, you can kind of see why they graded it MS63 dimple just just by the um, kind of the murky fields that you see um, on the coin. Uh, it was great a little bit uh, a while ago, but there are those very nice mirrors on it. And uh, 1886 dimple I haven't seen very often. So uh, when I found it and I talked to the dealer about it, um, he was very nice and I'm, I'm gonna go back to his table one day and buy some more but thank you guys for watching this part of the video whole lot of nice coins the first day of the pan show um, and let's roll to the outro hey guys thank you for watching today's video uh, early bird day was a success we had a lot of cool coins to show you guys we are so thankful that you're here to support us uh, with your time um, and also if you buy something on the website we are uh, especially thankful it's just uh, a dream to uh, sell coins and uh, go to coin shows and be able to visit our family um, but if you guys want to see more videos from us make sure to subscribe and we will see you in the next episode